Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. The HTC One X has been HTC's flagship Android phone for much of 2012, but not to be outdone by Samsung and all the other OEMs coming out with faster and faster phones, they've introduced the One X Plus, which claims to be 67% faster than the One X, which is a good thing because in a lot of cases, the One X can be laggy. So does the One X Plus fix everything that's wrong with the HTC One X? In this video, we're gonna do a comparison. Okay, so we're gonna do a variety of speed tests to see if the One X Plus is significantly faster than the One X. HTC claims it's 67% faster, thanks to the inclusion of a second generation Tegra 3 chip by NVIDIA, clocking in at 1.7 gigahertz, it's a quad core chip, versus the first generation Tegra 3, it's a quad core chip, also clocking in at 1.5 gigahertz. To make do with all of that extra power, the One X Plus has a bigger battery, 2100 milliamp hours compared to 1800 milliamp hours on the original uh, One X. And in terms of design, they're very, very similar. We've got red buttons here on the bottom of the One X Plus, and we've got white buttons on the One X. Flipping over to the back, we've got polycarbonate on the One X and soft touch plastic, which actually feels a lot nicer on the One X Plus. One X Plus is actually a little bit heavier uh, than the One X because of that bigger battery. Back here, we've got a really cool looking red ring around the camera. We've got no red ring here. We've got Beats Audio logos down here. And the last aesthetic difference to the front facing camera looks a little bit bigger here on the One X Plus because it takes pictures at a higher uh, resolution. Now the front facing camera, camera uses the dedicated image sense chip. So that should provide better front facing camera performance. Now, I should mention that if you want a One X Plus of your own, you can stop by clove.co.uk. Right now, they're selling these for about $600 unlocked. You can bring it to the US, use it on AT&T, use it on T-Mobile, or any other carrier that uses the GSM standard. So the first test that we are going to run here is boot up test. Let's see which of these devices turns on first. So tapping and holding the power buttons and release. One X Plus is already a little bit faster, which is good. We like to see the One X Plus being faster. It should be faster. One X Plus won by about two seconds here. And we've got both of these devices set up very similarly. And again, they're running different versions of Android. We've got uh, Jelly Bean here and Ice Cream Sandwich here, which is good because that's how they come. And a few things I want to point out. Right now, both of these are on automatic screen brightness. Going into the settings screens, they launch at the exact same time. The color temperature is different between the One X Plus and the One X. As you can see, let's zoom in on the screen and maybe you can see this. The One X Plus actually has a cooler screen temperature, meaning has a bluish tint to it, whereas the One X has sort of a warmer color temperature, which gives it kind of an orangey glow. It's very subtle, but there's definitely a difference between the two screens, which is something interesting. So let's go back to the home screen here. Let's flip around. See if we can perceive any difference here. Uh, the One X was always a little bit laggy when opening folders, when adding widgets to the home screen. So actually, let's tap and hold and see if we can sense any difference. So I'm going to drag this over here, drag that over there. OK, I'm going to click Select. And not much of a difference that we can tell there. Let's look at opening a folder. So here's a folder and a folder. Definitely faster on the One X Plus. Let's do that again. A little bit faster on the One X Plus. I haven't messed with screen animations. They're both doing it at the exact same time. Let's launch the camera. One, two, three, go. Interestingly, faster on the One X. Let's do that again. Okay, a little bit faster on the One X Plus. Let's switch to the front facing camera. And you're going to see a pretty big difference, a little bit of software differences here uh, because of the slightly updated version of Sense camera. Here it is, main or front. And it's going to be hard to tell on camera here, uh, but looking at it from my point of view, I can definitely tell you that the camera, the front facing camera on the One X Plus looks better. So that's good if you do a lot of video chat. Okay, so let's go into the web browser, which is interestingly called browser on the One X Plus and internet on the One X, that's strange. One, two, three, go. Okay, that was about the same time, and here we are on Pocket Now, and let's move around on the page and see uh, see how, if there's a difference. We're both on the same Wi-Fi network here, so we're gonna click Pocket Now. 
Should be seeing the One X Plus going faster, and yes, it's off to a faster start. The One X isn't too far behind, and watching for the progress bar here. And the One X Plus finished first. We'll wait for the One X to finish. We're just going to stop it here. Let's zoom in, see which clears up text more quickly. A little bit choppy on the One X, definitely, and release. A little clear, it actually cleared up faster on the One X. Wow, look at that. That's not good. That That's one of the reasons we had problems with the performance on the One X, because it does, it did stuff like this. It had these white spots. But here on the One X Plus, looks like they fixed, mm, maybe not. I guess they didn't fix that. So let's zoom in to another story. You know, both of these devices, I hate to say it, are still have a little bit of lag to them. Um, all right, let's see how they do with loading this next page. And here they come. And... Okay, the One X Plus finished first. We're going to double tap to zoom in as soon as it's done on the One X. And I don't want to wait for that long, so it's stopping. Double tap. Okay, faster on the One X Plus. Text always looks really good on the screen. It's just a matter of um, not having the lag. Now let's go to The Verge, uh, which has a lot of images on the site. You'll notice the keyboards are a little bit different. We don't have this bottom row here on the One X Plus, which is good, because that really took up a lot of space. And that's just a software thing, not a hardware thing. So let's go to The Verge. All right, we're just going to go to right here, theverge.com slash gaming. One X Plus is getting there a lot faster. And, well, that was interesting. The One X just kind of came in at the last minute there. So here we are. Let's check screen rotation speed. Faster on the One X. That was interesting. Faster on the One X Plus. Kind of a back and forth here. So let's zoom in and see how long it takes for text to clear up. If I can get it at the right time and release. Okay, that was about even there. Again, getting all this white space here on the One X. Let's go into this story right here. And the One X Plus finished first. So generally speaking, the One X Plus is definitely faster in web browsing, uh, but it still has a little bit of that lag issue, which I think is attributed to the Tegra 3, which never was that amazing of a CPU, especially when coupled with heavy software like Sense. Uh, it's another story if you're running Cyanogen Mod 10, but obviously we are running still Sense here. Next test we're going to do, let's launch YouTube at the same time. One, two, three, go. Interestingly, a little bit faster on the One X. Okay, we'll go back. Let's see which loads. Oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> let's see which renders the video first. Faster. <laughs> have to save that for later. Um, much faster on the One X Plus. Let's go back to another video and see if the experience is the same. Um, okay, let's check this out. Got some ads here. Ad loaded faster on the One X Plus. Okay, so again, it's faster. Another thing we want to check out here is the speed at which the multitask UI opens. Of course, we have the dedicated multitask button here. One, two, three, go. Okay, exactly the same time there. Uh, now we're going to load Shadow Gun, which is a relatively big, high FPS game. So one, two, three, go. Faster off the bat here with the One X Plus, and let's put them into landscape. Faster on the One X Plus by about a second. Press play at the same time. Good music, right? All right, let's see which loads faster. That's annoying. Okay, One X Plus is definitely loading the stuff faster here. Let's see if there's any difference in frame rate. Load it faster here on the One X Plus. Let's bring the One X out and just move around a little bit and see if you notice any difference. It's going to be subtle. Let's look at some bright spot in the sky. Got some lens flare there. All right, some fire. Smoke looks pretty good. Bring out the One X Plus here. Do the exact same thing. Yeah, there's really no difference here between these two games. Loading time is definitely faster, uh, but uh, and smoke looks about the same. Let's actually bring this in and take a look. 
Smith with Spin at the Seam. So that was a look at the differences between the 1X Plus and the 1X. As we've seen in test after test, the 1X Plus is a little bit faster uh, than the 1X, but really not by much. If you have a 1X, you shouldn't feel compelled to update it. Wait for HTC's 2013 high-end phone or get a Galaxy S3 or something else, but do not upgrade to the 1X Plus if you have a 1X. It's pretty much the same phone, just a little bit faster with better battery life. Of course, if you're in the market for a phone, the One X Plus is a great place to start. It's got the latest version of Android right out of the box. If you like Sense, this phone will work well for you. If you don't like Sense, then of course you could probably root it and put uh, your own custom ROM on it. But again, thanks to our friends at clove.co.uk for letting us take a look at the One X Plus so we could compare it for you here on video and see how much faster it is than the One X. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.